Good morning, Andoni. Good morning. Um, you suffered your first Premier League defeat last week against Chelsea. Have you had the chance to reflect, review and learn from that game? Although there were so many positives, ultimately you walk away empty-handed. Yes, obviously we've done our, our review like we do every week. Uh, it confirms a little bit what uh, we felt after the game. No, We are uh, very pleased with the performance. I think uh, we gave us our options to, to obtain points and to try to win the game against Chelsea. Uh, and luckily for us, we didn't take our chances and we finished uh, losing the game. But uh, if you ask me, probably it's the best game we've played, uh, maybe against Newcastle. Both games we played at home for me have been... Uh, very good and we have to do a lot of the same things and uh, improving the things that uh, at the end decide the games no yes obviously even Ilson missed the penalty have you had the opportunity to, to speak to him this week because obviously he'll want to get that first goal he knows that there's attention on him because of the price tag and because of the, the type of player he is have you seen the work in training have you had the opportunity to, to have a chat with him no we've we've talked to him but um, he's used to know he's not that He's, uh, he has been taking penalties before, he has missed before. I've missed penalties also in my career. I know how you feel when you miss a penalty. But uh, you have to try uh, not to, to change you know, your, your confidence, your, your attitude. And uh, I think it's, it's part of the job. No? Sometimes uh, you know, the keepers make a big mistake and okay, you have to continue focusing the next play and don't try to change anything. And, in these scenarios, I think it's the same. No? Uh, think in the next one, uh, try to to forget about it and, and, and continue performing well, yes, is what uh, I would suggest to him, yes. What's the team news ahead of the Liverpool game? Have you got any doubts, anyone returning? Uh, the only one returning, I think, the only one out, 100% is Tyler, that uh, you know. And the only one that I want to see him, if he can be available for today, is Dango. Dango probably is too early, but uh, uh, Dango has normally very good recoveries. Uh, and, and we will see today, he's the only one that probably will have to, to assess today and decide, but uh, everyone else is available, yes. You're going to Anfield, which is one of the most tricky away games that Bournemouth have had in their tenure whilst they've been in the Premier League. When you look at what Nottingham Forest did last week, has that helped you? Has that given you maybe food for thought or just so you've seen something different in the performance that you think actually that, that could help us? I don't think it helps a lot. Uh, probably it makes even more dangerous the game because it's not normal that they, they lose again at home and it's less normal that they do, <laughs> lose two in a row. No? Probably they have the, the game... Of, uh, at Milan, no, where they were very, very good. They, I think they won the game, I would say, even easily against Milan. They were, for me, uh, it was a great performance for them. And even the Forest game, they lost it. But even Forest doing very good things, playing very well, the normal outcome of that game would be Liverpool winning. No, But they hit the post. They, these things happen. We also saw it against, against Chelsea. But we have to go with the with the mentality of giving us chances, like we did the other day. Do your job, do your 100%. Maybe it's not enough sometimes, because they have they are a top team. I think with Arsenal and City are the top three of the league right now. They've been last years, and it looks like they are going to continue to, to be this, this season. And you have to be very, very good. This is mandatory, and sometimes it's not going to be enough. But if you are not very good, then you have no chance, for sure. Obviously, going to Liverpool has always been a, been a challenge for Bournemouth. The results there haven't been, been yeah. kind. You said last season you, know, you wanted to, to set new records and create history. You went to Old Trafford and won 3-0. It's something the club had never done. Is this the type of game where you, you set the task to your players, let's go and create a new piece of history? Yeah, I think we... we from from past season, I think we've been quite good against the team, probably below this top three, against, uh, you said, um, United, Newcastle, even Chelsea, Aston Villa. We felt like we get some points, we are there, we play quite toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but against the top three, let's say, maybe only the, the game we played against City here at home, even if we lost it, 
the other games we played against them, they've been better than us. And they've been, uh, we haven't had enough for them. So it's a challenge for us to show that even against the, 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 the best three teams, let's say, we can do a little bit more and we can be closer to a, to a, to a result, knowing that it doesn't happen only to us. It happens to most of the teams in the league, but uh, you have to trust your chances. And I think we are in a good place and uh, we can uh, at least give it a go and, and see if we are able to do it, yes. And just finally, there's only just the one concern. Tyler Adams obviously not, not available. Dango maybe or maybe not will travel. The fact that you've got that fully fit, virtually strong squad to select from, how much does it make your job more challenging? Because, you know, you could say Ennis is back fit now, got his first minutes last week. Does it make it more difficult for you? Are you thinking potentially to, to swap things and change things and keep keep the team fresh? No, I think it makes my job easier. Easier. More difficult decisions, yes, but at the end, uh, better solutions. Even if you don't take the best one, the second best is going to be good sometimes. No, and uh, you, you mentioned Dennis. I think we've had some some uh, moments in, in these games where we didn't have him, where we have to use another uh, players. We've to used uh, Sini, we've used Antoine we, in, in, in positions that probably they are not uh, their, their best. And uh, for me, it's a, always good to have uh, all the chances, all the options. It will be more difficult to to name the squad, to leave players out, to make the subs. But uh, I, I, at the end, what uh, what it matters is that the the overall performance is, is better and I think it's easier when you have more options, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And Daniel, obviously you haven't had a midweek game. Liverpool have been to Milan, as you mentioned. These days, is there any physical edge for your team in having a clear week compared to Liverpool having to go to Italy in the Champions League? Uh, normally it's an advantage not to play no, a midweek game, but uh, Liverpool are so physical, are so top level athleticism that we are going to face probably the, the most physical team in the Premier League or one of the two, three, I think. no. So we have to be ready for a, a really challenging game uh, physically. I think we also can, can play very physical. Can, can can match them in, 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 in that uh, sense, but uh, I expect an open game uh, because they are very good on transitions. We also are good on transitions. There's normally spaces. Uh, we will have to defend very difficult duels, very difficult duels, but we did the other day against Chelsea, I think, and I hope we can keep this level of of uh, defending one against ones outside, of, of helps, of overall defensive performance because it, it's going to be needed. I think, uh, especially playing at Anfield, and Anfield, you feel, even if you play well, there are minutes, you feel like the pressure all the time, and there is a corner, and another free kick, and they shoot, and they, your keeper says one, and you have some minutes where, woof, you feel like uh, you are in, in trouble, no? And we, we need to have this defensive uh, solidity to don't panic in these circumstances and wait for our our moments, because I, I, I'm sure we will have our moments also. A good way, I guess, to, to take the sting out of Anfield is to take the lead, which is what you did there last season. I know lots happened in the game after that, but what are the lessons, I guess, from how that game worked out last season? Yeah, probably we were not as ready. We started very, very well that game. I remember the first 20, 25 minutes, poof, we, were, we were very good. We scored one, we, uh, we had another disallowed, uh, a couple of very good chances. Probably we surprised them, they didn't know us. I think it was the first away game we played here. But once they they corrected that just the same things, we were not able. We were not able to keep the also the rhythm of the game. I think physically I felt in that day that uh, in the second half uh, they, they finished with 10, but the, 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 the game was probably already lost for that, uh, for that moment. And I, I think now we are more ready. Uh, knowing that they are better than us, but I hope we can be closer no, to, to what we were that day, yes. Final couple of stats-based ones from me. Only Brighton and Manchester City have had more shots this season than, than you. I hit the woodwork of various things last week as well. Do those numbers give you positives to hang on to as well as the overall performances? Yeah, I'm, I think it's, 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 it's good numbers to have. Uh, numbers don't give you points, but I think uh, we are having our chances. We are creating things. I feel like the, the the wingers, the forwards, the number ten are having chances, are 
uh, are being a threat for the opposition, and I hope we can continue like like this, no? Because I think the the, the most uh, important thing is to have the chances to to get there, to play a lot in in the last third, and then uh, I I trust my players to 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 finish it also to and, and to score the goals. Finally, um, Lewis Cook makes his 200th league appearance. If he plays this weekend for, for Bournemouth, he obviously scored on your last visit to, to Merseyside. How much progress have you seen in him, specifically since you've arrived at the club? I think he continues improving. No, I think he has been very, very solid. Past season, he was very, very good for me. I think this season, um, is, uh, he added his first goal. He's he had against Chelsea a couple of very good shoots from outside the box. I think he's arriving a little bit more. Uh, and uh, he's a very reliable player. Even in the games where you feel he's not playing well or he's not sharp on the ball, he gives his work rate gives you a lot. No, And uh, are the, these kind of players that uh, give you some some assurance no? when, uh, when you are uh, preparing for a game. And I'm, I'm very happy and I hope he can continue and... and uh, and, and, and become even a better player, yes.